Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to recover or reset a router's password without losing your existing configuration. Cool. So let's start. So here is the procedure for resetting password on Cisco routers. This is the procedure you will follow in real life. The procedure on packet tracer is slightly different which I will explain to you. So for that first you have to establish a console session with the router. So here is the physical view of the router. Let me zoom in. So on the top here is the back view of the router and on the bottom is the front view of the router. So on the front view you can see there is a port RJ45 Ethernet port and next to that in blue color written console. So this is the console port of the router. So here you will connect the RJ45 end of the console cable and the other end you will connect to your PC COM port 1. If you are using a laptop, you need to use a console to USB adapter. Now, next to that, here is the power switch of the router. So the procedure is as follows. First, you need to go to the Ramon mode of the router. Do this operation. To get into the Ramon mode, first, in real life, you have to first turn off the router by turning off the switch and then turn it back on. And as soon as you turn it on, you need to press control plus pause and break button on your keyboard. If the control pause break button is not available on your keyboard, then use Windows virtual keyboard. For that, go to start run and type OSK for on screen keyboard. And here, next from the console screen of the router, press and hold the control button on keyboard and tap on the pause or break button. It will enter you or present you to the Roman mode of the router. So after getting into Roman mode, you have to follow these procedures given here. So in packet tracer, the control plus pause break oper operation is not supported. I have to go to Roman mode using a different procedure. That I will tell you. But the main concept is same. You need to go to the Roman mode somehow. So here. So first we need to establish a console session. For that we need a PC. So here is the PC. Next, console session. Choose console. Connect one end of the console to the RS-222 port or the serial port also called COM port 1 of your PC. If you are using a laptop then you need to use appropriate adapter. Next, connect the other end of the console cable to the console port of the router as I mentioned earlier. Next go to the PC, go to desktop, go to terminal. In real life for this operation you may need to use a terminal emulsion software such as Hyperterminal or Putty. So the terminal emulsion software is built in in packet tracer. So click OK and you will be presented with the console screen of the router. Press enter and here you can see it's asking for the username. So in packet tracer I basically need to enter the username and password to get to the Roman mode. So first I need to go to the Roman mode for that. To go into Roman mode first you need to change the configuration register value. We need to change to 2142. The default configuration register value is 2102. That means load the iOS file from flash and load the startup configuration from NVRAM. So here by changing the configuration register value to 2142, we are basically instructing the router to skip loading the startup configuration from NVRAM. So we need to write the changes, do write and we need to reload the router. Now it's asking for system configuration dialog. 
So by changing the configuration register value 2142, we are basically skipping loading the startup configuration. That means the router will boot without a configuration. That's why it's asking you for entering to configuration dialog. So press no here and enter. Remember, if you press yes at this position and do some changes, and if you write the changes, then it will overwrite your existing configuration, and that is dangerous because you will lose all your configuration in the router. So press no here. It will present you to the router greater than prompt. And here step number five starts. Type enable or en and press enter. So it will show you the router hatch prompt. Next, type the command copy start or startup configuration to run or running configuration. So it will load the startup configuration from NVRAM to running configuration or to RAM memory. Press enter. It will ask the destination file name. It's same. Press enter. And here you can see point number six. Router will enter into host name hatch prompt. Example core router hatch prompt. So now it has loaded all our existing configuration hatch startup configuration. Now enter the command show run. It will show you the running configuration of the router. So you can see host name is core underscore router. Enable password is enable. Username Sujoy, password Sujoy1. In line call 0 or console interface, the login local that means it will use the default username password which is Sujoy and Sujoy1. Next, press enter. Next, line VTY0 space 4, login local and line VTY. 5 space 15 login local that means it will use the default username and password which is sujoy and sujoy1 next we need to change them one by one for that type conf space t and hit enter config space t it will change to router config hatch prompt so you are now in global configuration mode so at, after this point you can simply write down on a paper the existing username and password and existing enable password and you can continue your regular operations day to day operations as you know the passwords of the router but if you want to change the existing passwords then enter the new passwords so enable password let's say cisco okay now I want to change the existing user's name and password for that I will copy it go down type no and paste the existing command so it will delete the existing username sujoy and its password now you can change your own username so username cisco password cisco1 that's it you can write them up by do write command and next you need to change back the configure register value config register 2102 and do write You can reload the router. This time the username will be Cisco and password will be Cisco1 and enable password will be Cisco as we changed earlier. Now after the password reset you need to make the interfaces up. Here you can see 
the interfaces are right now red means they are down so after the password reset operation we need to manually config t int fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shut so this interface is up fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and no shut so both the interfaces are up now so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comment below don't forget to like and share the video and thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing